Hello guys, it's Freddy here. If you are new to here, I'm a 16 years old content creator lives in Taiwan. I'm also a student, a YouTuber, a music video director, etc. And there are so many different types of video on my channel that you could check out after today's video. Okay, let's get into today's topic. It's been a long time since last time I break down how I made videos for both my personal projects, you know, the YouTube videos, and both commercial projects. Last time we talked about how I choose music from answering some common questions, comparing different platforms, talking about the pricing and share some of my secret tips and at last I offer some discount for all you guys and I look back at the comment section it seems it's really helpful for you guys so today I'm gonna introduce a tool that I started to use recently well it's not really an actual tool it's a website called motionary in order to play simply motionary.com is an all-in-one marketplace for creators that offer video templates presets music sfx stock footage motion graphics different tools and so on okay I know it's not simple at all and it sounds a bit too official but there are tons of things we can talk about today and everything you see today including those motion graphics titles are all created with motion array so i will start from talking about why i started to use motion array and the first thing is that we are not good at everything if you are a personal content creator just like me you basically have to finish the whole video by yourself from the basic rough cut adding some effects some motion graphics maybe you are those people are good at fast editing you can edit an hour long raw footage into 10 minutes video in just half an hour but doing all the motion graphics animations titles may be hard for you it's also hard for me and this is related to our second reason is that we don't really have that much time if you are a student like me or you are making videos part-time I totally understand that it's really hard to squeeze time in our busy life in order to make videos I totally understand of course you can make every single effect by yourself and spending tons of time researching different software different methods but reality is always cruel we all know that if you upload more frequently the algorithm is more likely to like you so it is good to have some tool to save times for our video projects third is that commercial license are expensive if you have ever visited some famous stock media website and you will add some footage into your car, some presets, some templates, I don't know about you, but the price isn't really affordable for me. A stock footage can cost you from few bucks to hundreds of bucks, so that is not a small amount of money. When talking about stock footage, some shots are just too hard to create. For example, if I want a drone shot in New York, it's apparently that I cannot do that and it's still in pandemic, so basically impossible. But with stock footage, just type into keywords, New York drone shot, download it, and straightly use it in your own video projects. In the past, I don't really like things about stock footage too. We are filmmakers, we can create every single shot by ourselves. Theoretically, it is correct. But once you enter the field of commercial projects, the situation is totally different. This can due to budgeting or simply just didn't get the shot. It's impossible to get all the crew just for one shot or sometimes it's too hard to create. Just like the example we mentioned, the drone shot in New York. So it's not bad to use stock footage in your projects. Next up, rendering download presets are so hard to manage and transfer. A few years ago, around 2018-2019, seamless transitions are so popular that every single YouTuber are sharing their premiere presets for a seamless transition. If you have ever done things like that, you will know that everyone's file structure is different and most of them have limited usage rights. Those reasons make it really hard to manage your different presets and transfer it to a new computer. Next up is quite interesting. It's really hard to communicate with clients with just tax. You know, revising with clients is probably one of the most painful. No, I'm just kidding. It is actually quite interesting to discuss ideas with others, but sometimes people just don't really know what they want. So communicate only with tags isn't a real ideal situation. Next, let's say if you want to create your own portfolio, but not everyone can afford an engineer to code whole website, you need to rent a server, you need to do maintenance, even my official website is a template. Last, the quality of free assets are uneven. This is probably the most clear question, and we've talked about this in the last video, we talk about music. That's where Motion Array comes in. They offer templates for Premiere Pro, After Effects, Premiere Rush, Final Cut Pro, and DaVinci Resolve. Presets for Premiere Pro, After Effects, DaVinci Resolve macros. And also, royalty free music, sound effects, stock footage, stock photos, plugs in for Premiere Pro, integration with Adobe, online video review tool, video community, and a portfolio builder. That is 
really a lot of. There's like over than 10 things that I can remember. And that's the reason why I like Tico Motion Array, an all-powerful toolbox for content creators. And I think that is not persuasive enough. So now I'm going to make a video using only assets from motionarray.com. Let's just dive into it. Let's go to motionarray.com first, and you can see my download page. I've downloaded so many different assets from them and use it in real-world projects. Maybe we can take a look at the templates together. Start from Premiere Pro, you can preview them just using your pointer, and there are different filters on the left side, you know, edits, toolkit, transitions, things like that, just like Arthurs do. And they offer different resolutions, including 2K, 4K, and 5K+, plus, which is quite amazing, and different orientations, horizontal, vertical, square, and different versions of Premiere Pro. And you can keep scrolling and find the templates that you like. Of course, not only Premiere Pro, but also After Effects, Motion Graphics, Premiere Rush, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut Pro. And here's the preset page, you know, just the same thing, Premiere Pro. And the audio page, you can preview the song just one click away. And the sound effect page, for example, if I want a dog box sound effect, I can just type in the keyword dog and listen to it. And you will find what you want. And last, the stock footage page. Of course, they offer a lot of high quality stock footage. Of course, motion graphic and the stock photos page, basically the same. Click into them and you can download straightly, add it to your collections or share it with your friend. But we are not going to use this method. We are going straightly into Premiere Pro and use the native extension for Motion Array. Simply click download and log into your Adobe account. Install now, open your created cloud app. You can see I've already installed it here. Just go to Window, Extensions, Motion Array. You can see a pop-out window. Before that, there's just a create folder called Motion Array and set it to our downloads folder. Just like the website, you can preview the footage and click download and there are also different sections. Let's go find our music first. I like this one. After you click download, it will automatically import it into your current Premiere Pro projects. So let's just pick some stock footage we could use, download them, import them, and create a sequence. I've already put marks on our sequence, so we can use automated sequence. Hit OK, boom, everything just perfectly aligned on our sequence. So we can take a look at it for the first time. Well, just that simple, and it takes us less than 5 minutes. And of course, we are not satisfied with that, we are going to add more templates, sound effects, transitions, and video effects into our demo projects. I want to add a title, so just grab one, trendy lower thirds. You can see it's so easy, you just need to change the text, change the website, and place your footage into those placeholders, and you are done with it. I think I want to add a sound design into this cut, so go to the sound effect page, since this is apparently a concert stock footage i would add a cheer sound so i type into the keyword listen to it download it drag it into our timeline and boom we're done not finished yet go to effects you can see a lot of photos starts with ma ma stands for motion array so i'm using some transitions that it preview you know this is a beautiful pan transition and probably a lens flare transition I like this one, so keep this and add another video effects to the next cut. So I choose an RGB offset, drag it, let it render, just takes a few seconds. We're finished. Let's take a look at it together. Isn't that amazing? It takes only like probably less than 10 minutes and we finish a sequence of editing with sets of high quality footage and a very modern text and everything is simply a drag and drop. Though the relation between those clips are very thin. I just want to set an example so you guys can follow. You can spend more time on choosing every element, but overall it still saves you a lot of time. 
and that's only a fraction of potential of motion array. There are still many things we haven't talked about, like the After Effects template. And one thing I really like is their video review platform. You can mark, I don't like this font. You can add some blur here or change this cut's color grade. The best thing is that approve button. Your client can just click and hit OK. Boom, you are done. And of course, the portfolio builder. I know, I know, the color and the font look so beautiful now. <laughs> but I'm still working on it. You can take a look at their templates. I think it looks very professional and I will keep working on editing my portfolio page. One cool thing is that you can not only use their free domain, you can also use your own domain. For instance, my portfolio address is portfolio.fatty.io just before my official website. So this is one of the cool things I want to share with you guys. In conclusion, Motion Array basically can resolve every single problem we just mentioned above. And they have an official YouTube channel, a Facebook account, and an Instagram account. They will post some useful tutorials including After Effects, Premiere Pro, Dimension Resolve, etc. And YouTube Shorts, they will share some interesting know-how or some filmmaking tips. And sometimes they will post memes about filmmakers, which is quite interesting. So go to Motion Array now to get everything you need to create stunning videos. You can either open a trial account or start to subscribe Motion Array today, it's also a great way to support our channel. As for the price, it's around 20 bucks per month, it's not a small amount of money. But when you consider all the sources you get and the time you save from it, after all, if we can get the stuff we have to do efficiently, we can spend more time and energy on the things we want to do, and the freedom of avoid being shackled to a job that you don't enjoy at all. That's all for today's content. If you like today's video, you will love this custom playlist I created for all you guys. They include tutorials about how to choose music for your projects and how to organize your files. And if you like today's video, don't forget to hit the big subscribe button, turn on the notifications, give us a like, and share this video to your all filmmaking friends. If you have any questions or suggestions about today's video, just like always, leave a comment below. I will reply to every single comment by myself. If you want to follow my Instagram or Facebook, here's the account. And I'll put the link also in the description along with the motion array link. From now on, let's create without limits. It's Freddy here, see you guys, bye bye.